Hello and welcome back to the Second Chance to Live channel here on YouTube. I'm happy to see that you decided to stop by to watch this video presentation. Thank you. In today's video presentation, I'm going to be sharing an article and follow up to a series that I wrote, Brain Injury, Vulnerability, Bullying, and Intimidation. This article contains information that will help provide solutions and strategies for dealing with difficult people and bullies, individuals who by their behavior seek to bully us. To read the article, put my glasses on and bring up the article. I want to thank you for your time. You're an important part of my process and I always enjoy our times together. Here's the article. Solutions when dealing with difficult people and bullies. <clears throat> Excuse me. Hello and welcome back to Second Chance to Live, my friend. I'm happy to have you around my table. Over the past several days, I wrote and published a two-part article, Brain Injury, Vulnerabilities, Bullying, and Intimidation. The principles that I spoke about in that two-part series can be applied to anyone who is experiencing the impact of being bullied by individuals and or groups of individuals. <clears throat> In this article, I will speak to strategies that have helped me to have a, better, have a better relationship with myself and other people. I will share what has helped me as I interact with difficult people. As I interact with difficult people and individuals who by their behavior are bullies. Bullies that, are, that seek to take advantage of me. My hope, my hope is that as you read this article, the information will benefit you as you interact with difficult people and individuals who by their behavior seek to bully you. Several days ago was my birthday. To celebrate my birth, birth, birthday, I decided to participate in several activities. One of the activities that I planned to do for my birthday was to attend a 12-step support group meeting a meeting that I attend on a regular basis. And based on something I read as part of my daily meditation earlier in the morning, I brought up the topic for discussion at the meeting. When asked if anyone had a topic, I said I did and asked that people share slogans, slogans that they have heard and have helped them in their recovery process. Slogans that help them in their recovery process as they interact with difficult people and individuals who seek to bully them. Individuals who by their behavior seek to bully them. Slogans that can be used and applied to enhance their, their relationships with themselves and their relationships with other people as they relate to them. And here's an explanation of slogans that I've learned. Slogans. Slogans are a series of words that are striking and memorable. In life, we may have unconsciously been telling ourselves things that did little but undermine who we are and our relationships. Slogans may have been passed from one generation to another generation, unchallenged. These messages, although short, may have been accepted and gone unchallenged for many years. Messages, excuse me, messages that have been subtle but have had a profound impact upon us. A profound impact upon us as we interact with other people and ourselves. Messages that were used to control and manipulate. Messages that were used to intimidate and bully you and I in our relationships. Messages that were used to shame and get us to do things that were not in everyone's best interest. Messages that were used to take away our power and our ability to use sound judgment. Messages that were used to undermine our ability to trust the process of loving God and ourselves. Message that, messages that were used to distract and keep us focused on matters that were none of our business. Messages, although short and witty, are cutting and devaluing. Slogans that we used, that excuse me, slogans that we owned and used against ourselves. But the good news is that we can start using different slogans. We can start using slogans to improve the quality of our lives. 
We can start using slogans that will enhance our relationships. We can start using slogans to take care of ourselves while, uh, while allowing other people to have the dignity to take care of themselves. We can use slogans to remind us to value ourselves and own our power. We can start using different slogans and, and solutions to empower and enrich our lives. We can start using slogans and solutions to empower our relationships when dealing with difficult people. Empower our relationships, empower our relationships when we interact with difficult people and individuals who by their behavior seek to bully us. Below is a list of several slogans that were shared during the meeting, several other slogans as well as several of my personal favorites. May these slogans help you to find a new freedom as you interact with people, with difficult people and individuals, individuals who by their behavior seek to bully you. If you know of or use any other slogans to empower your life and relationships, please share them with me. Thank you. And these are the slogans. One day at a time. I have choices. Q-tip. Quit taking it personally. I'm not in charge of your happiness. Where I end and others begin. Keep your side of the street clean. It is not all about you. Or not all about me. Don't create a crisis. Stay in today. Don't project. Be kind, be brief, and be gone. Progress, not perfection. I do not want to do that again. Think. First things first. Just for today. Keep an open mind. You may be right. Let me think about that. Easy does it. Let go and let God. Keep the focus on myself. Live and let live. This too shall pass. What are my motives? Who, Who's in charge? Just because they say it doesn't make it so. I can't wait to see how my higher power is going to work things out. Take care of yourself. How important is it? Just for today. Principles over personalities. Detach. Mind your own business. Halt. Hungry, angry, angry, lonely, tired. Doing nothing is doing something. My triggers, my reality. Let it begin with me. I do not have to set myself on fire to keep you warm or others warm. Insanity is doing the same thing over and over again, expecting different results. Keep your head where your feet are. Trust. The dots will connect forward. More will be revealed with time. Don't give up. Trust the process. Trust the loving God. And trust yourself. This is the end of the article that I wrote in follow-up to the Brain Injury, Vulnerability, Bullying, and Intimidation two-part series that you can read on my website. Before I go, let me encourage you with this. Please do not give up on yourself, a loving God, or your process, because more will be revealed to us in time. The pieces of the puzzle will come together in the correct order and at the right time. I'll say so long for now. Have a great day, and God bless both you and your family. So long now.